Hi all, welcome to my YouTube lecture. We are studying the course HDL programming using Verilog behavioral modeling. In this session, we, we, we discuss about a very important concept called a frequency division of a clock, which is also called as clock divider. So uh, we understand the frequency division in detail and we try to use it in the already written code. So frequency divider, it divides the frequency of the clock and increase the clock period. You know that frequency and uh, time period are inversely proportional. If you try to divide the frequency, it will like uh, you will be in turn increasing the clock period. So it helps to slow down the blinking speed of the LED or bulb or to control the speed of the motor. It might be a stepper motor or anything. So normally FPGA kits come with a very high frequency of the range 1 megahertz or 5 megahertz or even 10 megahertz. So with this frequency, uh, blinking blinking of the LED or uh, the rotating the stepper motor is quite difficult. In order to kick, uh, bring it in under control or else um, I, I can say that to slow down the blinking speed so that it is visible to the human eye, then what we need to do is we need to design certain digital circuit wherein we call it as frequency division wherein it divides the frequency which, which reduces the frequency to around 500 hertz or anything of your our wish of course even 500 hertz is too big for human eye to capture the changes but just to an example to take an example i have considered um, the output of uh, the clock that we want to achieve is 500 hertz wherein input of the clock is 1 megahertz so i'll be calling the uh, output of the output of this frequency division as new clock input of the frequency division as clock so this is clock with 1 megahertz this is new clock with 500 hertz what kind of the circuitry what kind of the very log model that is possible um, to design here that we will look into just now uh, i'll just take the help of paperwork in order to explain it in a better way let me take an example first like why why this frequency divider is used in a digital design so think that you have you have implemented a counter so counter after every increments like when it is zero zero after incrementing one time so this bit goes to high and after incrementing one more time this bit goes high after incrementing one more time this bit goes high if i just implement this in on fpga and if i give all these ports bit lines to the leds the led starts blinking when counter increments by one time the leftmost rightmost led will be on and one more positive edge when it occurs the that rightmost led goes to low and it goes on repeating it means at every pause edge it goes on toggling in this case set so every two pause edges it goes on blinking and similarly here at every four pause edges it goes on blinking here at every eight pause edges it go it goes on it goes on um, uh, toggling here what happens is because of very high frequency normally the frequency of the fpgas will be uh, in of uh, around 1 megahertz and more which is nothing but 1 divided by 1 mega it will come to be 1 microsecond so at every one microsecond blinking of the led happens which is uh, very difficult from a human eye to capture the change so hence what we need to do is we need to slow it down slow down the speed of the blinking so how to slow down the speed of the blinking that's the question now how to slow down the speed of the blinking 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 of led and th th that is what uh, we are going to look into this uh, concept and one more uh, live example i want to quote here the bulb 10 watt bulb uh, tungsten bulb that we use so which uh, uh, looks in this uh, manner so here what will be happening is our ac mains ac mains will be of 50 hertz frequency 50 hertz frequency it means at every 50 hertz 50 hertz is nothing but 0 0.02 seconds at every 0 0.02 seconds at every 0 0.02 seconds this bulb blinks but we hardly notice it because our human eye does not will not be able to capture the blinking in that speed so hence we will not be able to see it 
it looks as if it is always on now the same thing is happening on fpga which is which is blinking in very high speed that is one microseconds now what we need to do is we need to divide the clock or divide the frequency here assume that this is your clock this is your clock clock these are i'll mark the positive edges i'll mark the positive edges so i want to divide this clock by two times if i want to divide this clock by two times then the new clock would look like new clock would look like so for the first time when it encounters uh, pause edge think that i increment right and i i mean i change it over and when it encounters second time it should go low it should continue in this fashion so i call this as the frequency divided frequency divided into two times means in one clock period in one clock period i have two clock periods here in one clock period i have two clock periods for example clock period of uh, the new clock i call it as p new clock period of uh, the old clock is p old p new is two times p old so this is a period or time i can say if i take its inverse f new will be f new will be frequency in terms of frequency if i write f new will be half the f frequency of old clock so this is a concept so we are dividing the frequency or i can say we are increasing the period of the new clock this is what we are supposed to do when we increase the period of the clock what happens is pause edge appears after certain delay compared to this hence we if we use this new clock for our control uh, counter design the blinking speed can be reduced so this is a, a concept that we are uh, that we are looking into so now uh, let us uh, understand one more uh, small example so if i want to, to my want my new clock one to divide the frequency by four times f new one i want to divide the frequency by four times compared to old so what would i do so here the positive edge first edge positive edge one first clock second clock third clock fourth clock so in four clock cycles i should fit in my one clock so one first clock is done second clock during second clock in this positive edge it has to toggle and one clock is done second clock is done so again it should increment it has to follow in this manner so you can see that this is p new one so now p new one is p new one is four times four times p old so if i convert it in frequency it looks like this so this is like four times i have divided the frequency now how to do it you can just check here so when i want to divide it by two at every pause edge new clock should be toggled when i want to divide it by four at every pause edge of the new clock every pause edge of the new clock the new clock one should toggle so this is like this like this is like new clock one can be generated using new clock also so with this concept we we apply uh, in verilog code to design a frequency divider we'll just we'll just look into it how to how to do it now i have taken a diagram just to illustrate it so here is uh, the uh, timing diagram of uh, clock divider so this is a clock so this clock is having some certain frequency what i'm doing is i'm just implementing a counter simple counter wherein at every pause edge this counter increments you can check here from 0 to 1 1 to 2 Two to three. At every pause edge, it is changing its value. Think that I have defined, I have taken a implemented a four-bit counter. Now, if I just analyze its four bits, it looks like this. Count of zero. Initially, this count will be zero zero zero. When count reaches one, 
this is most significant bit it will be 0 0 0 1 it's like writing your truth table when your it, it increments it toggles toggles and during the next positive edge so this again toggles and it goes to 0 and it comes to 1 0 0 so this is a analysis of the counter simple 4 bit counter each bit I am analyzing this is 1 this is 1 this is 0 this is 0 this is 0 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 1 0 1 sorry 0 0 0 1 1 0 0 1 so this is the msb this is the lsb you just check it resembles the truth table that we write in digital circuits 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 0 1 0 it's like this now the meaning is if i take a new clock if i take a new clock and if i if i just take a new clock and if i assign if i assign new clock with count of count of 0 then my new new clock will be like this that's a fundamental here if i assign new clock with count of 1 so it will be assigned this count of 1 will be assigned to the new clock so here if i assign count of 0 to the new clock what is the meaning here you just check first positive positive edge one clock cycle positive edge second clock cycle in two clock cycle i have only one cycle one clock cycle here it means i am dividing my frequency of uh, the clock into two times if i assign count of zero here it is nothing but division of frequency by two count of one means count of one means how many cycles have been fit you just cross check from here let me start from here it will be much more clear one pause edge second pause edge, second clock cycle third clock cycle four clock cycle completion four clock cycles division of frequency by four similarly if i assign count with two and count with third bit so what happens Fre division of frequency by eight you can check you can check here from here or else i can start from here one two three four one two three four four clock four plus four eight clock cycles eight so here it will be 16. it means whatever i write here i should derive a relation i should derive a relation so let me just write it here whatever number i write here 2 raised to 0 plus 1 will result in number of time clocked clock divides number of time clock divides so this results in 2 whatever I had got it here similarly 2 raised to 1 plus 1 will result in 4 2 raised to uh, 1 now it is 2 plus 1 result in 8 2 raised to 3 plus 1 result in 16 so this I'll call it as this I'll call it as n which is the bit that we have mentioned here this is the bit that we have mentioned here so with this concept we shall write a Verilog code just have a look I have written a piece of uh, code I have just started it's a Verilog code for frequency divider wherein I have defined a module with the name frequency underscore division clock is my input and new clock is the output so input is clock output as new clock I am redefining uh, using register because I'll be using always block now I define one more intermediate called resistor of 4 bit which is count I initialize it to 0 so now what I, what I do is I write a always block always at pause edge of clock pause edge of clock begin begin at every clock what should happen positive of clock count should be incremented count should be incremented now think that i want to divide my frequency by two times so what shall i do i should assign new clock which is output equal to 
count of which bit gives me if i assign which bit of count will it give me division of frequency by 2 it's 0 so 0 is nothing but i write the comment divides frequency by 2 times divides the frequency by 2 times and end it so this is a code for frequency division for example if you want to use this new clock further then what you can do is you can use one way one more always statement at pause edge of new clock and then you can implement a flip-flop or any any sequential circuits so this is how uh, you need to write the very log code but uh, one more addition to what we have done and now until uh, now is like if i give that your fpgas frequency hardware frequency is let me call it as fh is 1 megahertz 1 megahertz and i want you to achieve required frequency required frequency to be 500 hertz then what you are supposed to do this is a question there is one formula this let me call this as fr there is a formula fh divided by fr is equal to 2 raised to n so this n you are supposed to write in count of the value that you were writing for example fh fh is 1 megahertz divided by fr is 500 so this is equal to 2 raised to n 0 0 0 0 i cancel let me use a calculator here 1 2 3 4 5 6 divided by 5 so i am getting 2000 so 2000 is equal to 2 raised to n or else n is equal to log of 2 into to log log 2000 to the base 2 you can also uh, do it in this fashion 2000 divided by log 2 because in come in uh, calculator we will be having log to the base 10 so let me do it log of 2000 divided by log of 2 so you are getting 10.96 you are getting 10.96 which is almost equal to 11 so n is equal to 11 so what you are supposed to do is to divide the frequency of uh, 1 megahertz to have 500 hertz you are you are supposed to replace this 0 with 0 with 11 so by doing this what you are doing approximately you are dividing the frequency um to 500 hertz above input frequencies 1 megahertz it's as good as you're designing a circuit of frequency divider division where your input clock is off input clock is off how much 1 megahertz and your output new clock new clock is off 500 hertz and you can further use this use this uh, what i can say uh, the uh, clock you can like this you can divide uh, to any any frequency that is required yes <clears throat> if we could design the frequency division circuit for dividing the clock of frequency 1 megahertz to the new clock of 500 hertz so there uh, we decided that n value equal to 11 will suffice the requirement so uh, we had uh, defined count to be 3 down to 0 there for just for the, the illustration but n is equal to 11 if i want to have in uh, the, the count bit uh, to be assigned to the new clock then the count initialization should be done as 12 bit 1 11 down to 0 because n n can be uh, n is 11 and you can use 11 only if count has uh, that many bits so that's why you need to define uh, the number of bits according to the n value that you get and now we will go to the Zellings environment for uh, the further analysis yes I have a code here in the Zellings environment I have defined input as clock and output as new clock input as clock and output as new, new clock I have defined it as register also and have initialized it to zero and uh, I have taken a variable called count, which is of 11 bits. Uh, I have intentionally taken it as 11. Let me take it as 12 bits because we had that uh, explanation there. So 12 bit, uh, 
um, I have initialized it to zero. Always at pause edge of clock, count is getting incremented, and I am assigning new clock with count of one. So assigning new clock with count of one means two raised to one plus one, that is two raised to two equal to four. It's as good as dividing your clock by four times. Let us check with a simulation. So whatever number that we write here, that is uh, defined as n, 2 raised to n plus 1 is uh, the one where how many times it divides. Just check here. I just uh, restart it. Clock. Zero, 1. 100 nanoseconds. Click on OK. Run for the specified time. And let me call it... Um, Read it in terms of unsigned decimal. You can check here. So, one clock, how many clock cycle it has? So, uh, let me start analysis from here. One, two, three, four. Four clock cycles is equivalent to one clock cycle of the new clock. So, it means I am dividing the um, frequency of the new clock. Uh, of the world clock by four times to achieve the new clock. So this is how you can achieve the frequency division of any of the requirement that you have. So let me take an example of uh, uh, the counter. So let me show like how the counter uh, blinking of the LEDs can be reduced. I have a simple up down up counter that we had discussed earlier so here how to apply a frequency division is i don't want to apply this clock i want to apply a clock called new but new is not a defined so to define new i take a reg new clock which is of single bit and i take one more uh, resistor i'll uh, define it as uh, 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 the, let me take it as 11 down to 0 again 11 down to 0 count count I initialize it to zero so here I just define one more always block always at pause edge pause edge of clock begin so count will be incremented as we discussed earlier and now new clock should be assigned with new clock should be assigned with count of same thing count of one or two let me assign two this time it means i'm dividing it by two raised to two plus one two raised to two plus one is two raised to three two raised to three is eight eight times i'll be dividing the clock so end this always block and this new clock this new clock i'm taking its reference in the next always so this always will be sensitive to the pause edge of this new clock and this new clock's pause edge will appear after eight clock cycle of the old clock this is how i decrease i increase the period space of each uh, new clock and by the, then thereby increasing the speed of the or reducing the speed of the blinking of led let me implement this so uh, here uh, you should decide this number on the basis of how many times you want to divide the clock or how many how much delay you want to have in between the blinking of the led or how much speed with how much speed you want to rotate the stepper motor and so on so it's synthesized let me simulate it so if reset is one q goes to zero i'll keep reset zero so that i can just count it i restart it clock 0 1 10 nanoseconds reset i'll keep it at 0 then nothing else so i just run it zoom to fit let me analyze from the beginning you can check here our output is q so q is incrementing on the at the at, on the basis of the pause edge of new clock so pause edge of new clock q is incrementing this is new clock pause edge of new clock q is incrementing pause edge of new clock q is incrementing count your counter is counting pause edge of new clock your counter is counting so your new clock how it is defined your new clock i'll start from here one two three four four clock cycle for logic high 
four clock cycle for logic loop four plus four total eight clock cycle after a eight clock cycle it is having one positive edge so this means your frequency of the volt clock is divided by eight times and hence you decrease the blinking speed of an led so frequency divider plays a very vital role in many digital circuits many real-time applications so if you have any queries please put it please ask it in comment box so that i can respond it positively uh, see you in the next video to keep updated yourself kindly subscribe my channel thank you